this Bible. So let's read again, Matthew 19, 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? See what Christ said? Good master, what good yeah. thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? Oh, yeah, like, so you have an uh, Israelite brother asking Jesus Christ, what good thing shall I do that I may have my part in the kingdom of heaven, eternal life? That's what we should be seeking, eternal life. A kingdom wherein dwelleth righteousness and holiness. A kingdom where the love of God and the love of brethren flourish. That's what we're supposed to be seeking. Read on. And he said unto him, so the, Jesus Christ said unto the man, read on. Why callest thou me good? Why callest thou me good? Why are you calling me good? Because that's the problem with our people. We always praising men. We always upholding man. We uphold man. We, up, we praise men. We uphold the traditions of men. It's time for our people to stop praising men. We got to praise the Most High. That's what Christ is going to teach. Read on. There is none good, not one, but... No, there is none good, but one. That is God. See what Jesus Christ taught? Are you checking out the words that Jesus Christ spoke? with power and authority. Christ said there is none good but one, that is God, brother. There's only one that's good, that's the most high, brother. That's who our power is. That's who we're supposed to have our faith in, the most high, the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the God that delivered our forefathers, this, uh, the children of Israel, out of slavery in Egypt. Go ahead. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandment. Jesus Christ taught that if thou wilt enter into life, Keep the commandments. That's what Christ taught. So we seeking the Heavenly Father, His kingdom. We got to keep the commandments that's written in the Bible. That's written in Exodus, the 20th chapter. That's a good starting point. Read on. He said unto him, He said unto him, so the man asked Jesus Christ, which, which, which commandments do I got to keep? Which of the commandments do I got to keep in order that I may have eternal life? Read on. Jesus said, Jesus said, Thou shalt do no murder. Read it again. Thou shalt do no murder. Jesus Christ taught, Thou shalt do no murder. The so called black man, Hispanic man, must repent at the breaking of this commandment. Because by breaking this commandment, the Lord ain't having joy in our people. Come back, brother. Get Isaiah 9, 16. The Lord ain't having joy in our people. That's why you get shot. That's why you dying. Drive-by shootings. Ending up in prison, getting raped in jail. Why? Because we're breaking the law, that shall do no murder. It's time for our people to repent. Go ahead. All right, hold that. Uh, let's read Isaiah 9. Come over here. Isaiah 9 and 16. Isaiah 9, and we'll read from verse 16. For the leaders of the for the leaders of this people caused them to err. See what the Heavenly Father said? The Heavenly Father said, for the leaders of this people caused them to err. The, our so-called leaders in these different religions that have nothing to do with Christ or the Bible, they leading our people astray because they're not teaching our people the commandments of the Bible. Get Jeremiah 23 and 21. Read on. And they that are led of them, see, we are the ones as lost sheep that's being led astray by these so-called preachers and teachers of the Bible. Because if they're not teaching repentance in the name of Christ, if they're not teaching the keeping of the commandments through being born again in Christ, if they're not teaching that we the Israelites that must repent from breaking God's commandments, they're leading our people astray. That's what these religions are doing. Because the Lord, he didn't give us religion to follow. You don't read about being a Baptist in the Bible, a seven-day Adventist, a Jehovah Witness. God never gave us the Catholic religion. God gave us commandments that we're to follow. And one of the commandments is, thou shalt do no murder. But because we're not being taught the commandments, 
we're being led astray. Read on. And they that are led of them are destroyed. See what the Lord said? They that are led of them are destroyed. That's why young black Hispanic men are dying at such a phenomenal rate. That's why they ended up in the prisons. Why? Because you want to live the thug life. You want, you want to sell drugs, you covetous. You want money, power, women. So what do you do? To obtain these riches, you corrupt yourself and murder and sell drugs. Armed robbery. We got to repent from this, bro. We got to stop breaking God's commandments and repent. Why? Because if we don't, brother, this punishment that the Lord laying upon us is going to continue, bro. Read the next verse. Therefore, the Lord should have no joy in their young man. Checking that out, the Lord said, therefore, the Lord shall have no joy in their young men. The Lord shall have no joy in their young men. Young black men, Hispanic men are dying. Why? Because the Lord ain't having joy in our children. What's that, bro? The young brother in Florida. That's yeah, like that young brother in Florida that got killed. That be the Lord's wrath upon our people. Why? Because we sinning, brother. We sinning. We breaking God's commandments, brother. We want to live that thug life. But where the thug life end us getting up? In the grave, brother. In prison. Getting shot. That's where the thug life lead us to. The Lord don't want us to live the thug life. Christ said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. The Lord wants us to live like Christ, brother. That's right. We have to learn to love our brothers ourselves. And if we love our brothers ourselves, we're not going to commit adultery against our brother. That's right. We're not going to murder one another. Right. We're not going to steal from one another. These are the things that Christ taught our people. These are, the, these, are, these are the laws and the commandments that the Lord taught our people. So read on, brother. Neither should have mercy on their family. The Lord said that he's not going to have mercy. said that he's not going to have mercy on the fatherless. Even the fatherless. If we break in God's commandments, the Lord ain't having mercy. Why? Because the Lord has given us opportunity to repent day after day after day. And what do we choose? We choose to believe in lies. We choose to believe in these religions that teach us to break God's commandments. We don't want to pick up this Bible and read it and learn these commandments. So the fatherless, the Lord ain't having no mercy on them, man. The Lord ain't having mercy on our people, man. Why? Because we breaking the laws. Young black Hispanic men are dying every day because we breaking God's commandments. Read on. And widows. And widows. The widows, the Lord ain't having mercy on them either. That's showing you the Lord. In other words, he's no respect of persons. He that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done, for there is no respect of persons with God. If you're breaking his commandments and you're not repenting, like Christ said, except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. The Lord ain't playing games with our people. We the ones that's playing games with the Lord by tempting the Lord and putting ourselves in situations where we're breaking God's commandments. But we gotta come out of that mentality. We gotta come out of that way of thinking, man. That's why the scriptures say, make you a new heart and a new spirit. But why will ye die, O house of Israel? Why would we choose to die when we can live? We got to repent in order to live. Read on, brother. Quote the chapter and the verse. For everyone is an a hypocrite. See what the Lord said about our people? For everyone is a hypocrite. Hypocrisy. We say we love one another, but what do we do to one another? We rape, rob, and murder one another. We sell drugs to one another. You sleep with your brother's woman. Where's the love? That's hypocrisy, man. The scriptures tell you in Romans 13, 11, love worketh no ill to his neighbor. When that spirit of love in us, we're not going to be murdering and robbing one another, committing adultery against one another, bearing false witness against one another, being covetous. That leads to adultery and murder and theft and bearing false witness. Sister, you believe in the scriptures? Can I show you this verse here? All right, sis. Let's read it. Read it anyway. And, and 
Evil, evil do it. And we really get Anna what? Evil do it. And evil do it. See what the Lord said for everyone is a hypocrite and an evil doer. What is the evil doings of our people? We bringing it out. We're murdering one another. Selling drugs to one another, committing adultery, serving other gods, bowing down to graven images, following the false gods of the heathen, worshiping the white image of Christ, worshiping Buddha, worshiping following Islam, breaking God's commandments. We're not supposed to be doing those things. God is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And God did not give us religion, he gave us commandments that we're to follow. So the Lord said everyone is a hypocrite and an evildoer. Go ahead. And every mouth speaketh folly. And every mouth speaketh folly. Come closer to me, brother. Every mouth speaketh folly. See what the Lord said about our people? What is the folly that's coming out of our mouth? Oh, you can look, but you can't as long as you don't touch. That's adultery, brother. Eye candy. Yeah, that's eye candy. Yeah. That's evil doings, and that's 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 evil doings. That's hypocrisy. Cause we the same ones that talking about we got love for one another. But if you love your brother, you ain't gonna lust after your brother's woman. Right. That was it on that brother. That verse. Go ahead. For all this. For all this. Go ahead. His anger is not turned away. In other words. The Lord is every day judging our people for breaking the commandments. And he's not done. He's not done. The Lord every day. The scriptures say the Lord is angry every day with the wicked. So let's read Jeremiah 23, 21. Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 21. And then you get Matthew 5, 21. I have not sent these prophets. The Lord said, I have not sent these prophets. Because what do we read in Isaiah 9, 16? For the leaders of this people caused them to err, and they that are led of them are destroyed. So you got all these religions teaching these man-made doctrines, but they're not teaching you the commandments of the Most High. What are they teaching? Traditions of men. What did Christ say about traditions of men? In vain they do worship me, teaching uh, doctrines, the commandments of men. Christ said that we, by laying aside the by holding on the traditions of men, which is these religions here in America, we make the commandments of God in none effect. In other words, the law, thou shalt not murder, thou shalt not commit adultery, honor thy father and mother, that's not what's in our mind. What's in our mind is following the customs and rituals that go with these so-called uh, Christian religions. Christmas, Easter, you don't read about that in the Bible. When God said, thou shalt have no other gods before me, that's, that knocks out Easter and Christmas and all these other so-called holidays. Yeah, brother. Yep, they ran. The Lord said, I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. You got a lot of people that, that speak and teach in the name of the Father in Christ, but the Lord ain't sent them. The Lord, they, the Lord ain't sent them, but they out here teaching, setting up religions, teaching doctrines. They have nothing to do with the Holy Scriptures. Go ahead. I have not spoken to them. The Lord said that he has not spoken to these false prophets. We don't. Yet they prophesy. Yet they prophesy. You got a lot of people that got the scriptures and they prophesy and they trying to teach out the scriptures. But they're not bringing forth, if they're not bringing forth the message of repentance and keeping the commandments through faith in Christ, the Lord ain't sent them. Because all, all throughout the scriptures, all you read about all the prophets in the Bible leading up to John the Baptist, to Christ, the 12 disciples, and the apostle Paul, they preached one message. And that message was repentance. Repentance, that's what Christ said. Christ said, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The Lord's kingdom is at hand. We gotta prepare for, our, we gotta prepare for this kingdom by repenting. That's why we gotta take heed to these commandments that's being taught. And the law that we dealing with is thou shalt not murder. Read on, brother. But if they had stood in my counsel, the Lord said if they had stood in my counsel, which is the scriptures teaching repentance and the commandments of God, read on, and had caused my people to hear my words, and had caused my people to hear my words, the Lord said if they had caused my people, Israel, to hear my words, 
which is the commandments that's written in the Bible, read on, then they should have turned them from their evil way. Then they should have turned them from their evil way. And read on.